Uh, hi everyone. Uh, today we'll be talking about Mailchimp, how to authenticate your domain name in Mailchimp. So if you just created your Mailchimp account and you're wondering why your emails do fall into people's spam folders, it could be due to the fact that you've not verified your domain name in Mailchimp. So today I'm going to show you how to verify your name your domain name in Mailchimp using your cPanel and the uh, authentication keys that you use to verify your domain name. So let's go. So in order to log in to do that, first things first, click on your the drop down on your name, go to account. Next, you go to settings, click on verify domains. Now, as you can see here, I've already verified this domain name, but I'm going to show you how to verify and authenticate your domain name. So, in order to verify a domain name, first you need to type in your domain name and then email chip will send an email to that uh, email address you computed here for them to verify. The next is the authentication. So what you need is the valid DKIM and SPF records, which is unique to you, it's given to you by MailChimp. So how to do that? You click on view, set up instructions, and here you see the DKIM, create a CNAME record for k1 dot underscore domain key dot your domain name dot com. And this is the DKIM key. And then your SPF. Here you create a text record for your smart name, index uh, your domain name with the server's uh, SPF key. So, in order to do that, you need to log into your cPanel, your domain or your website cPanel given to you by your web host. And next thing you go to make sure your web host cre has created. Uh, the advanced DNS editor, which you can see by scrolling down here on that domain, so you can see domain advanced DNS editor. Click on that link, which takes you here. Now we go back to uh, the instruction, domain authentication instruction given to you by Mailchimp. So it says create a CNAME record for this. So you click on copy that. I'll copy this and go back to the advanced DNS zone editor in my cPanel. I'll click on the type CNAME under the drop down. Then in the name, I paste in this key. Already, you can see I've already created it here, but I just want to show you how it's done. You can see it right here. I just want to show you how it's done. And if you're just doing it for the first time, this will change to uh, a green check checker sign because it's, I've already done it before. So that's why it's saying I have a unique one. Then next, you copy this one, the dkim.mcsv.net, and then paste it in here. As you can see. So if you've not done this before, this changes to a, a green checker sign. Then for the time to leave, you can put in one hour, 16 minutes. And once I'm done, I'll click on add record. But I'm not going to click on it because I've already done it before. So once the next thing you do is to go back again for the next, uh, we say it's SPS. Create a text record for smartindex.com. Now I'll click copy the domain name. Go back here. Sorry. And paste it in. As you can see, uh, the next I'll copy my SPF. I'll change this to text and then paste it in. 
So once I'm done, I'll click the add record button. And once everything is in order, I'll go back here and then click the authenticate button, which um, your MailChimp will now tell you it's now authenticated. Sometimes it might not work. That means in such cases, it means you need to wait for at least 24 hours for MailChimp to authenticate your or verify your domain names. So you just have to be a little too patient for 24 hours or 48 hours for MailChimp to authenticate your DKI and SPF records. And that's it for this presentation on how to authenticate and verify your domain name using MailChimp. Until next time, happy email marketing.